Hey everyone, it's Mark for the Nokia blog with another video to show you on the Nokia Lumia 800. If you're a big Facebook user, you might want to check out Windows Phone. Just go to settings and enter your email and accounts login, and then Facebook will become closely integrated with the OS. Let me show you how it works. So here's the first tile. This is the me uh, section of the people hub. And from here, I could post a message. I could update my status directly from here. If I go back, here's a check-in. It will check for places nearby and I could uh, check, check in. And this will show up in my Facebook profile. As you could see here, I could check in using Twitter or Facebook. But in this video, I just want to show the Facebook integration with Windows Phone. From here, I could also set my chat status. Facebook chat is built in into Windows Phone. And I could set my availability here to busy, away, appear offline or go offline. I'll talk about that later on. If I go to the next section, these are the notifications. I've showed this to you before in uh, another video, but these are basically any comments or likes or any mentions about me on Twitter or Facebook. This section is called what's new and this will show all my status updates from Facebook and Twitter. Facebook chat is built in into Windows Phone and you could see that by going to messaging. Here in the threads section, you could see the SMS and your Facebook chat messages all in one page. Here is an SMS message from Windows Phone, and you'll know it's an SMS because on top it will say tax. If we go back, this is from my sister who sent a Facebook chat messages. You'll note it's from Facebook because on top it will say Facebook. Here at the bottom, it will say whether the person is online or offline. If you go to the next section, this will show your buddy list or basically your friends that are currently online. On other phones like the Galaxy Nexus, you need to install another application for uh, Facebook chat. It's called Messenger. Let's now talk about the Facebook integration on the People Hub. So here's a list of my contacts. And let me just click on a person here just for an example. I could uh, give that person a call and look at this option here. I could send them an SMS or a Facebook chat. It will see if that person is online. So currently, she's offline. So it's recommended to send them an SMS message instead. Another option here that I like is the write on the wall. I could write a message on her Facebook profile directly from my contacts page. So I really like that. Now let me show you the Facebook integration on photos. Now this is very cool because it makes it look like the photos on Facebook are stored here on, on your phone. I'll go ahead to, to albums, and these are the albums that I have on my Facebook profile. And it's going to load it up like it's built in or stored from my phone already. Again, these are currently stored on uh, Facebook. Now you could also view uh, photo albums from other people. So here are the current people I've recently checked. I could go to choose contact and let me just click on an example person here. Let's click on Brian. So here I'll see Brian's photo albums and I could view it like they're stored from my phone and it will actually open up very quick and you could do the same thing. You could zoom in or out. You can see Brian is a big sneaker sneaker fan. Uploading photos to Facebook is also pretty easy. Let me just turn on this camera. Let me take a photo of the box. I'll go ahead to the options, click share. And then you see the option there that will say Facebook. As you can see, the Facebook integration on Windows Phone is pretty good. However, if you want more options, you could go ahead and download the Facebook application from Windows Phone Marketplace. It's free. All right, that's all for now. If you learned something new, or uh, enjoyed watching this video, please click on the like button. It helps me out tremendously. I'm Mark Wim. Thanks for watching.